children welcome back to my channel today i have brought to you a video on the first worksheet of construction chapter of class 10 i'll cover up all the types of questions of that worksheet in this video so ready to go let's start with the first type where we have to divide a line segment in a given ratio so i'm going to take a line segment and divide it in the ratio 4 is to 3 we will also discuss the justification of each construction at the end of the construction and the steps are being shown on the top for your convenience. First of all, I draw a line segment of 7 cm and name it as AB. Next, I am going to keep my scale aligned with AB to make any acute angle. So I draw this ray AX to make some acute angle with the line segment AB. The ratio given to us is 4 is to 3, 4 plus 3 is 7, so we are going to divide this ray AX into 7 equal parts using our compass. So take a small radius on your compass and keep it on point A. Now draw an arc intersecting ray AX at some point. Next time this point of intersection will be taken as the center for drawing the next arc. So understand that every time you have to take the next point of intersection as the center. In this manner we are going to draw total 7 arcs as 4 plus 3 was equal to 7. Now we are going to name the points of intersection of these arcs. So you can name them in any manner like I have named them as A1, A2, A3, A4 etc. Children, you can observe that I have marked the fourth point with red color. This is because the first number of the ratio given to us is 4 and this point plays an important role in our construction. Now we will join the last point A7 to the point B and through A4 we have to draw a line parallel to A7B. Let's see how it is drawn. So the method which we are going to learn just now is the method of drawing an angle equal to a given angle. I'll start by taking a small radius on my compass, keep it on point A7 and draw an arc starting from one arm of this angle and intersecting the other arm. Now with the same radius I am going to take center at A4 through which we have to draw an angle equal to the given angle. And I'll draw a long arc starting from ray AX. Next, we will keep the two tips of our compass on the two points where the first arc was intersecting the angle AA7B. Taking this as radius and keeping the tip of our compass on the initial point of the second arc, we are going to cut an arc join A4 to the point of intersection of these two arcs and extend your line until it meets AB at point C. So children we have got the point C which divides the line segment AB in the ratio 4 is to 3. Let us see the justification to this construction. We have drawn a line segment A4C parallel to one of the sides a7B of the given triangle ABA7. So, as per basic proportionality theorem, the line segment A4C will divide the other two sides of the triangle in the same ratio, and so AC upon BC will be equal to AA4 upon A4A7. As AA4 has 4 equal parts and A4A7 has 3 equal parts, their ratio will be 4 is to 3. And so AC upon CB is also equal to 4 is to 3. Next we'll learn to draw a triangle similar to a given triangle. So here I have a question where we are given a triangle whose sides are 4, 5 and 6 centimeters. All of you have done construction of triangles in your junior classes. So all of you know how to construct a triangle. So I'll quickly construct the triangle first and we'll always keep the first type of construction in our mind because in all the constructions we have to draw that construction of dividing a line segment into a given ratio. Links for various types of constructions of triangles are in the description box in case you need them. 
So is your triangle PQR ready? Let's move on to the next step. Now we are going to repeat all the steps which we did in our previous construction but with a minor change in our construction. The new triangle which is to be constructed should have sides two third of the given triangle. 2 upon 3 is called the scale factor. We are going to take denominator of this that is 3 and we are going to draw 3 arcs on the ray. And if the numerator is smaller it means the new triangle will be smaller and if the numerator is bigger than the denominator it means the new triangle will be bigger than the first triangle so have you constructed the ray px and cut three equal arcs on it got the points p1 p2 p3 and joined p3 to r that's good next we are going to draw the angle equal to angle p p3 r at point p2 why P2? Because through P2 we have to draw a line parallel to P3R. So taking a small radius center at P3, we will draw an arc intersecting angle PR3R with same radius and center at P2 another arc. Then we will measure the two endpoints of the first arc and taking that as center, we will mark the other arc intersecting the first arc at point P2. Join P2 to the point of intersection and extend it further to intersect the line segment PR at S. The point S divides the line segment PR into two parts such that PS upon PR is equal to 2 upon 3. So PS forms the base of the new triangle. So to complete the triangle we will again draw a line through S parallel to QR and this way we'll get the complete triangle so taking a small radius with center r draw an arc intersecting the arms of angle prq and with same radius and center s draw another long arc then measure the arc with the help of the two tips of the compass and keeping your compass at the end point of the second arc you have to cut an arc then we have to join these intersection of the two arcs with the point S and extend the line further so that it meets the line segment PQ at point T. So triangle PTS is similar to the given triangle. We can easily justify our construction as we have drawn ST parallel to QR by BPT PS upon PR will be equal to PT upon PQ equal to 2 upon 3 and angle P being common by SAS criterion the two triangles become similar okay now the third question is similar to the second one but with a little twist let's see if you can do it just try it nice efforts now time for self check triangle constructed ray drawn but how many arcs have you drawn? 4, 5 or 7? Confused? Yes, you have got it right. We'll draw the bigger number. That is 7 arcs on this ray. Wait a second. Have you joined B7 to C? It's wrong. This is the twist in the answer. We don't have to join B7 but we have to join B5 to C. Remember I told you that if the numerator of the fraction is greater then the new triangle formed will be bigger than the given triangle. Did you observe that I have extended the line segment BC a little outside the triangle? The reason for this is that we have to draw a line through B7 parallel to B5C and when we'll do this, this that line will not meet the line segment BC but it will meet outside BC. So quickly correct all your previous steps and now start with the next step that is drawing an angle equal to angle BB5C at point B7 with B7 as center. The rest of the steps are just like question number 2. So we get point D on the extended part of the line segment BC. Now BD is forming the base of the new triangle 
and through D we are going to draw a line parallel to CA and as you can see it is not going to meet BA anywhere so we will draw it first a longer one and then we will extend BA so that the two lines or the two rays meet at a point. So this way we get the ray dy and then by producing VA further we get the point E where the two rays are intersecting and hence complete triangle BED which is the required triangle. The justification for this part is same as for question number 2. So I hope you liked and enjoyed the video and please give your valuable comments they are always welcome. You can subscribe to my channel for more such content. I'll be back with a video on exercise 11.2 soon. Till then, take care.